We're going camping, man. We're going camping, aren't we? This is a camping trip, right? Where are we going? Uh, we're gonna go and uh, give somebody a big message, right? Well, we're gonna let them know that uh, they made 19 billion dollars and they cannot help people. I don't get that. Makes no sense. Make no sense. Yeah, people are being thrown out to the streets. Uh, you know, it, this is what you call greed at its best. Right, right. So we're excited and uh, we're ready to push back and uh, we're not gonna go away anytime soon. All right, power to the people. So our main focus for this uh, Wells Fargo campaign is to let them know that we're demanding that they do less foreclosures and actually start working more with our communities and helping people stay in their homes. They're focusing more on short sale. We're saying we need principal reduction. We need you to start helping our community. I called the bank and asked them for modification and five times they denied it. I explained to them that I have a full-time job as a state employee and I'm a manager. My HUD representative says that I do qualify for the, uh, for the uh, principal reduction. I will fight until I not I am not going to give up and I'm going to fight and keep fighting until I can't fight anymore. So we want to get, we're actually going to confront the CEO of one of the five largest banks in the country. So we've planned it out as carefully as possible to try and maximize our chances for success. So what we have done is we have rented a room for ourselves that we believe to be, oh, we're going to confirm this in a minute, um, right next to the room where the bankers conference is going on. And the, the name of the conference is the... Um, Best Practices in Retail Financial Services. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? Beginning out with an actual ID badge for a group that we're calling the Butler Performance Institute. Uh, so we're all members of the Butler Performance Institute today, okay? And um, I think if anyone asks, the best thing to say is it's, um, uh, you know, it's, it's a self-help group for small business owners. So, and then she's going to walk right up to John Stump in the middle of his speech and say, introduce herself on the microphone. Hopefully everyone in the room will be able to hear because of the wire and this mic. That's the plan. Um, and she's going to quickly, before he gets a chance to leave, in about 30 seconds, tell the story she just told you and present him with a check for $2,100 and ask him to accept it uh, as for her mortgage payment rather than foreclosing on her talks that we're, we're getting really close to. Hey, 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 hey,
against racial minorities and low-income homeowners. Right on! Right on! Right on! They have settled lawsuits. Depending on what the program, you are trespassing and you will be arrested. You need to leave now. That's the way Wild Fargo do things. In the dark! Thank you for all your support. I think I got to shake the hand of the crook. I went up to him and I said, hi, my name is Betty Bodger and I lived in my home 19 years and you're trying to sell it away from me? And that's when he walked.
I mean, going through the kitchen was the best thing. Uh, that we just need to continue and um, give confidence to those people that are going through the through the pro through, through the foreclosure process and let them know that there is help out there. When you plan for action, it's going to turn out the way you plan. Right. It's not. Right. So we need to understand that. Yeah. This is the first time they cut the lights out on us. This is the first time they done put music and all that out there. So we can sit here and say next time we take flashlights and something. That don't mean that's going to happen after right. next action. You know, we just have to be prepared for anything. Whatever happens, happens. We just continue to do what we gonna do. We were with that in the first place. The first place was to occupy the room, take it over, we did what we did, we did what we did, and it turned out successful. The manager was so upset that he didn't want to let the bus driver um, let us on the bus. And he had told the bus driver, you're gonna be arrested and all this other stuff, and the bus driver was all upset. And then, so then the police were there, and we were leaving, and the, the manager standing in front of us to get on the bus, so he basically like just bl was blocking us. So the police started being like, they're leaving. And, and the, this manager actually got in the police's face. He was like, I want him off the property right now. And so then the police, like, they were like, sir, step aside. No, I want him off the property. So finally the police reaches and pushes him out of the <laughs> <laughs> It was like one of the best moments I've ever seen. Yeah. Take up,